Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I have another video for you, like the word gringo, where does it come from? So, the word gringo was born in Mexico in 1948, when we were fighting the United States. Some of them, they had a green coat, and when they were getting captured, they would tell the gringo, gringo home, gringo home, because they didn't, they didn't, um, they didn't, they didn't uh, know how to speak English, so they would tell the, them gringo, gringo, and and then and then after that, the word was born gringo. The word gringo is not really a racist word or a hate word. It's just a word that was born from from all that. You know, it's not really insultative or anything because people like confusing that it means something bad or anything. It's a racist word, like word meaner. A uh, word beaner is not another racist word, it's something that was born in those days too, which I'm gonna uh, do another video about it. So, uh, I wanna explain you how do I know, how do I know, uh, how do I know this word? So, I explained you already like what was, was told to me when I was a little kid by this guy. So, I wanna explain you the story so you can know. So, I was living in, in Atoyac Guerrero, that's a, that's a town in, uh, in Mexico. So it was a little town. There was no power, no electricity. We used we used candles for light at night, and uh, our playground was the the woods. We used to run in the woods, uh, collect fruit, uh, collect a uh, wild tomato. This a little tomato, like a bowl tomato. It will grow. It will grow. It will grow in the in the fields. It's the same as the marijuana will grow in this in the will grow in the in the in the fields. Why? Because uh, our town was uh, by the by the mountain, and in the mountain people will uh, will uh, will um, farm uh, wheat, and then all the seed will come down with the rain to our town, and then then the wheat will grow up in in in, the, in those areas. And and uh, when when uh, visitors used to come, the people would tell them not to bring those plants back to the city, because if you bring those those uh, those plant back to the city, you want to get in trouble. So it, it was all that, 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 that in my town. So after that, my mother decides that we need to go to to um, Ario de Rosales, Michoacán. Ario de Rosales, Michoacán is far away from me. It's in the, it's in like a, a different, different, different city. So we went there, and when we got there, there was this. I, I was I was walking by street and I saw this guy. Uh, his name was Samurio, Mr. Samurio. I that's why they call him. And so when I saw him, he was like a red face, or with his uh, nose like a grape, like a grape. He was like, uh, <laughs> it's so weird. And then I got scared at the moment when I saw him. And then he. Um, he told me, don't go, don't worry, don't worry. He told me, I look like a gringo. I never heard the word before in my life, gringo. And I say, gringo, what? I don't know. I don't know that word. And then, and then he started telling me about what I'm telling you right now. They, 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 they were capturing the, the people in the United States, and then, and then, um, and then, uh, uh, you know, they were letting him go, and they were telling gringo, the gringo, and they were telling gringo, 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 until, until they was born. Uh, the, the word was born and then we, we were calling them gringo so and then we were about to call it gringo now but uh, actually it's not it's not really a racist word or anything like that um the, the uh, right now it's different for example in the north in the north people used to call them gringos in the in the south people call them bolillos bolillo is a, is a kind of bread it's bread, but this bread is like a white and red, uh, simi similar to a North American face, you know. So uh, that's why they call them bolillos in the, in the in the in the south and the north. They call them gringos because in the north is where like the world was born. And this is the story how I know that the word gringo uh, was born uh, in 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 the north, and then it's not a racist word. It just you know, it's just uh, a word that was born of the struggle, but it doesn't mean anything. It's just we were assigning the, the people from the United States, the gringo, you know. But it's not really so. See, 
So I hope this video helped you a little bit and, and, and I don't know. Thank you. Bye.